this journey started with a, a, a sweat lodge. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but sweat lodge has been around for thousands of years, and it's a process in which you go inside a very hot space, and you sweat a lot. And you sort of are purified beforehand because the object is to really face who you are. You can't sort of lie in the heat. You have to tell the truth. And as I came out of this lodge, it was about the same time of year. It was very cold. It was up in the mountains. And I suddenly fell to the ground. And I literally could not move. I couldn't feel my fingers. I couldn't feel my feet. I couldn't move at all. Not only that, but I realized I couldn't talk. I couldn't see. Everything started to get black and striated. I couldn't hear. I thought, I'm in big trouble. I may be dying. So I tried to do what everything I could. I tried to hold on. There was nothing to hold on to, but sort of interiorly in my imagination, I tried to hold on to myself as much as I could. It's like holding your breath. If you all held your breath at this moment, for a certain length of time, you can hold on, but finally you can't. And I had to let go. And I did let go. And then a remarkable thing happened. I felt at incredible peace, incredible ease, amazing release. And I thought, whoa, is this what death is? And then I started to say, wait a minute, but I'm conscious. Well, if I'm conscious, I could think, what's going to happen next? Now, my parents told me there was no heaven or hell. I don't know about your parents. But when, when I was in school, I read about heaven and hell, you know, various books and various movies and various images I thought and thought, what if there is a heaven and hell? And I hadn't been the best of all human beings, so I figured if there is, I'd probably end up going to hell, which is exactly where I went. I went to my version of hell. It's horrific, and we don't have time to tell the story, but the point is, I was in hell. But suddenly I realized, in my own hell, I couldn't feel anything. My body was gone. This was all just imagined. Hell was merely an imagined idea. Like any idea, like a cloud. An idea is like a cloud. It'll change in a second, if you let it go. And that second, I let it go, and hell was gone. And then it went on what's called a classic near-death experience in which you, many, many people have had these, sort of traveling through a kind of strange, grayish, cloudy space, and there were beings to my right and left. I didn't know they were dead relatives or guides or something like that. And then I had another revelation. All of a sudden, everything that I'd ever learned about, that is, if this Jeremy, this particular character, everything I'd ever learned about, all the history I'd ever learned, all the television, the 100,000 hours of television I'd ever seen, all the games I'd ever played, all the people I'd ever met, all the music I'd ever heard, all the movies I'd ever seen, they all happened instantaneously in a nanosecond. I saw everything that, it was, that I knew. Everything in a nanosecond. Who created this? What was this? And I realized that too was an illusion. And as all history suddenly dissolved, I saw what was going to happen to me. What was going to happen to me, whoever I was now, I was about to become a piece of stardust. And I was in blissful ecstasy of perfection. I loved it, if there was love to have love. It was an amazing, amazing moment of absolute joy and serenity. And then I realized that just to become a stardust, a piece of the stardust of the infinite, and all of a sudden the infinite came in on itself. Everything suddenly became nothing, and I lost consciousness. And then, like turning a, a movie backwards, ran screaming backwards from nothing to everything, heading down through the solar system that I was aware of, or whatever was aware, through the solar systems, down toward the planet Earth, down toward California, down to the Malibu Mountains, down to the strange body here on the ground. And I entered that body, and I returned to being Jeremy. And as I slowly began to sense of being able to move, feel cold, started to see a little bit, started to hear, I looked around, and I had the greatest feeling of love I've ever had. I loved every single human being I saw that were there. I loved the space we were in. I loved the cold that I felt. I loved the water. I loved the air. I loved everything around me. And I realized what an amazing miracle it is to actually be here right now and be alive. <laughs>